In this quick video, I will show you how to animate a circle as you can see it on screen. So let's get started. First, I create an arc on Photoshop, but you could create a circle or an arc on After Effects by going in here if you want to. Then bring your layer of circle into your layers. This is the first frame and this is the last frame. Then we need to go to Window and activate the effects and presets and in the search bar type in radial and you need to go under transition and select radial wipe make sure your circle is selected on the layers and you can just drag and drop on it then here we get the properties of the effects we can control the transition completion start angle and more so bring your playhead just before your object start to move and then in your transition completion increase or decrease as you can see when I do that it start to cut off from the top because if you see here the start angle is zero and the zero is this point so we need to increase the start angle somewhere here it can be a bit more because then you can control the effect using transition completion if you got it a bit more so this is a starting point so if I would now bring it almost to zero on this screen which becomes transition completion of 85 percent then click on here we create our first keyframe of our radial as you can see it in here then go to the last frame and then change it to a value when the position matches the end of the phone which in my case is nine percent so if I now go to the beginning and move the playhead it follows it but because the speed of radial is defined between first keyframe and the last keyframe and the speed of the rotation of the phone is different as you can see it goes ahead so it doesn't look great so what we can do is to add keyframes so and for example we realize that this is going faster than the phone then we adjust this and then you go ahead you still feel like it goes faster then you adjust this again go ahead adjust go ahead here the speed matches quite well yeah I think near to the end I don't need to add any more keyframes so now if I go from the beginning and then I go to window preview play the preview mm -hmm. 